So what is my personal experience with video games? Now, in this video, I want you to keep in mind, all of this is unscripted. I practically know all of this by heart. When I was three, there was this cool thing called an Xbox 360. And my dad would play it a lot. And he would play the orange box. He'd be playing Portal all the time. And I would watch him be like, wow. That's amazing, because I was three, and a bunch of things were moving, and you couldn't go up and just, you know, like, like touch them and stuff, you know, like that. You can't just touch them, and they'd like, like this light right here. It doesn't, you can feel this light, and, and this homemade mouse pad, and this Lego grenade, but you can't feel the stuff on the screen, and that's crazy, right? So, yeah. That's why that was cool to me, and I thought the stories were cool, and I thought how you could hit a button, and it would do something on the screen. I thought that was awesome. It was like reading an interactive book, you know, or an interactive movie, or whatever you want to call it. And honestly, I've been doing that for what? When I was three, and I'm, I'm like 12 now, so that's... Well, again, the same way, I'm going to get the X by itself by... Yeah, and I've been playing video games since, uh, yeah, three, I think. I'm pretty sure when I was three. I was practically born with a controller in my hand. And my uncle, my uncle, which his name will be Rondo, Ronaldo. His name will be Ronaldo for the sake of this video, and I don't know if he wants to be out on the internet. So Ronaldo, he exposed me to a lot of new games. He exposed me to PC gaming, all that stuff, and uh, I'm not going to tell you much about Ronaldo because I doubt he wants to be that much on the internet. But he, I'm fairly certain he has his own Steam account and. He has a Nintendo Switch right now, and that's cool. That And I didn't know what a Wii was, or a GameCube, or an N64 for that matter, and I knew all of the Nintendo products from him. I'm sure my dad would have told me about them eventually, but I wouldn't have this laptop right now if it wasn't for him telling me that they were way better than Xbox, because they quite honestly are. But anyway... He exposed me to a lot of other things like uh, Mario, Zelda. Okay, everybody, let's just take a moment to appreciate this face. Zelda, I, I, I played, I beat almost all the, well, I can't say that because they're like 20, 31 now? I don't know, but there are a lot of Zelda games. And I've probably played about a quarter, a quarter of them and beaten about half of them. It doesn't make sense. Swap those. I beat, I beat a quarter and played half. I'm still working on uh, Breath of the Wild on his Nintendo Switch. I won't tell you anything else because I doubt he, like I said, I doubt he wants to be on the internet. Anyway, Ronaldo exposed me to a lot of cool games. And I have a Wii because of him. And I play Mario Kart because of him. And I still play Mario Kart. I still play Mario Kart, guys. And, uh, I mean, he, inter he introduced me to the Half-Life series. Uh, Mario, like I said, Half-Life, Mario, Zelda. Animal Crossing. Um, Metroid. I've played almost all of the Metroid games. I beat uh, Other M, which is crap. I I suggest you burn it. 
thumbs up for that. Uh, I play, I beat other um, I beat all the all three Prime games. I beat what's it called? What's it called? Super Metroid. I was scared myself there. And I, I beat the first, the very first one. You should be proud of me. You should be proud of me. I beat the very first Metroid game. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> I put, I beat, you should, I don't know if you should be proud of me or shamed because I beat it, <clears throat> how long ago? Like two or three years ago. And so, Ronaldo is a very big part of my life. Yay. My dad introduced me to Halo when I was in like second grade because he doesn't want me ripping out alien throats before then. <laughs> and that was a great game. I beat Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 4, Halo Reach, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. I beat, uh, I have the Master, D, the, the Master Chef collection to this day. I don't play it anymore, but I have it out of sheer nerd. If you look at my shelf over there, I have lots of nerd over there. If you want to see that orange thing back in the distance on the middle-ish shelf, right there where I'm pointing my finger up, right there, that is my name, Jack, spelled in Hyrulean from High from from Skyward Sword. I cannot say one stupid word today, can I? That's how much of a nerd I am. I have my name written in Hyrulean on my shelf. If you can see right there, that's... Yeah, this is a lot harder than I have. Right there, that is my Link poster that I have. And that's awesome. I truly love that. Um... Down there, this doesn't have much to do with anything, but that's my Captain America shield. So I'm a nerd there. I mean, I've got a CSGO knife. I mean, I'm a nerd in all ways. So, I mean, uh, the internet kind of introduced me to CSGO. I started getting on the internet when I was, I don't know. I don't know when I started, but like. The internet was like, yeah, CSGO is awesome. So I just kind of, you know, looked it up on Steam. And, I mean, I have played so many games because of my dad and my uncle. So, like, this Yoshi shirt right here. Right here. I'm wearing a Yoshi shirt. that, And I have rocket ship pants on. <laughs> anyway. I think that's pretty much all I have to say. I'm rambling, kind of. This video is already 11 minutes long, so just stick with me. I'm glad you stuck with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and my relations with video games. Bye, guys.